there's a thin line between jealousy and enviness and in this video i'm going to be pointing out five signs that screams that a person is actually envious of you or jealous of you <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is hope on this channel we'll do all things beauty lifestyle product reviews and in today's video we're going to be educating ourselves yes and this video is kind of different from the ones i've been putting out but trust me you're going to enjoy it from beginning to the end because this one actually targets to everybody both men women young and old so if you haven't experienced envious or jealous people in your life maybe you haven't even started yet so this concerns you and i promise that you're going to enjoy this video from beginning to the end so while at it please remember to subscribe to this channel turn on post notifications so that once i post new videos you'll be the first to get notified and my new subscribers i want to take this opportunity to quickly thank you guys for smashing that subscribe button thank you all for supporting me i see all of your support i really do appreciate all of that and i do not take it for granted i made a, a short video yesterday thanking god and also thanking you guys for being here i really do appreciate you so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video so guys my first point in today's video is when a person is actually jealous of you or even envious of you they begin to ghost you yeah these people could actually be your friend they could be your frenemies they could be your neighbors they could be your colleague they could be anybody at all so once they begin to ghost you for no reason they begin to keep malice with you for no reason they begin to give you strange faces they begin to act up with you like you have issues trust me that is actually a sign that you should stay clear you know have you ever been in a position where somebody that you have no issues with you guys have been vibing sometimes you might not even be vibing with them maybe you're not even friends from the onset but you know all of a sudden you just feel like why does this person hate me why does this person give me some sort of attitude do you understand so please take note of that when a person just all of a sudden you know begins to ghost you i'm not talking about the people you offended here because don't get me wrong sometimes you might offend somebody without even knowing and then you know people are different they begin to bottle it up or something but this case you did not even offend this person for no reason they just begin to ghost you because you probably just got a new car you got a new job a better job you just started something good in your life and they are not cool with it and then automatically you become their enemy so if you have somebody like this in your circle <laughs> maybe you need to rethink of that relationship so that leads me to my second point so my second point is when someone is actually envious of you when someone is jealous of you do you know what they even stalk you now don't forget the first point where they begin to keep malice with you unnecessarily they begin to ghost you but yes they ghost you but they are following you on social media they are following all of your posts they are watching your every move they see the things you do they are watching you back to back they are in your space and you don't even know because you're just there living your life you're just living a normal life you're going through your daily routine you're going to work doing good things in your life that you're so busy that you don't even know these people are watching you but they're actually watching you they're not just watching they're stalking you when you go somewhere or when you be, decide to keep malice to someone or when you're not even talking to someone what i feel you should do is just disappear from that person's space but they wouldn't even disappear from your space they are there they are watching you they want to st they want to keep stalking you so if you have someone like that you probably might not even know because you're too busy with your life you're trying to make more money you're trying to build a home you're trying to get a car you're trying to work hard on your job so you could get promoted you're very busy you're not even seeing them so when you mistakenly observe these things ah, ah, sister please that's a sign right that is a sign so that leads me to my next one they are antagonists <laughs> yes let me explain that they admire your lifestyle but they get angry because they can't do it or they're not that person they like your personality it could be anything but they don't have it so at every opportunity they have they antagonize you sometimes not because you're not doing the right thing but because you are the one doing it instead of them they're not the ones doing it now do you know that being jealous is something that everybody has everybody actually has the tendency to get jealous i mean it's in us in nature but what makes us better than 
the other or what makes us stronger let me use the word stronger what makes us stronger than the other person is the ability to tell yourself no i'm in charge of my life i'm in control i wouldn't let things like this get to me i mean i'm happy you're winning and i pray to do something good too in my life that is okay but when you're you feel jealous about somebody and then you go extreme you begin to show it body language you begin to not want the person to progress that is what you should run away from those are the kind of people you should run away from let's say for example someone in your office just recommended or commended your good work instead of them to say oh yes they know you're actually doing the good work they can see it but they can't do it because it's not in them they don't have it they don't got it it's not in them so what would they do when someone else is trying to commend you or trying to give you credit for your good work done they would just say no she's not even that great What's the big deal about what he's doing? I mean, anybody could do that, but they know in their heart that not everybody could do that. They know they can't. So at every opportunity, they antagonize you. Do you understand? They antagonize you. They, they Even when you're trying to say, let's say you're trying to make a point somewhere, and then your point is actually making sense, and because they know they are, you are accepted and everybody's going to accept your point, they just want to go against that point you just made, even though it's a valid point. So when you have people like this around you, sister, ha, please just know that this person is actually envious of you. Now that leads me to my next point, guys. So the next sign you should be looking out for in an envious person or the next sign that you should take note of if someone is envious or jealous of you is they are copycats now i am going to prove this they want everything you have even though they can't afford it not only material things even your personality they can be you but they want to be so these are one of those signs that they maybe consciously or unconsciously exhibit maybe it's unconscious maybe they don't even know they are doing these things but these are the things you should be looking out for in an envious person or these are signs you should take note of in an envious person they are copycats they want your personality they want to be like you they do the things that you do they do everything you do you, you you're wearing a, a bank they want a bank you're you're wearing an expensive wig even though it's so easy for you to get they don't care some even go into run into depth just to be like you. They want to go to places you go. They want the kind of relationship you have. They want to eat the kind of food you eat. They want to talk the way you talk. I mean, that's not a bad thing if you're trying to learn from someone. Because, yeah, we all do it. We want to be a better version of ourselves. Yes, I want to be a better version of myself. When I see a, a woman like me doing something right, I want to do it because I want to be a better version of me. But this case, it is different. They want to start a competition or rather they always want to compete with you. They want to show the world that what you can do, they can do it. What you can buy, they can buy it. They want to show the whole world that there's nothing special about hope. They want to prove to everyone and also prove to you that that thing that makes you special or that thing that makes you whatever you are, they can do it. You start a YouTube channel or they go start a YouTube channel. So that's if someone is trying to do these things to be like you you know someone who actually sees you as a good force to reckon with i mean that's okay but when someone is trying to start an unhealthy competition with you trust me they are envious of you they're not trying to be like you they just want to prove to everybody and they also want to prove to you that that thing you're doing they can do it and they can even do it better but you know what it is you are just living your life so it don't matter you're just living your life. You're just doing that thing that makes you happy. So it comes very stress-free for you. So for them, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I've ever been in that kind of situation. But trust me, if you're doing something by force, you tend to get tired. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I hope you get the point I'm trying to put out. So be watchful when you get people like this around you they could even be your friends that you see every day they could be your friends that you've had for 15 years they could be someone you just met yesterday they could be your colleague in the office they could be your neighbor they could be people that you just see around you they could be nobody to you as well so just look out for these things right okay guys 
as I'll be bringing you the very fifth sign. And this one, huh, you're going to love it. Now, if someone is envious of you, jealous of you, this sign is like the most obvious one, the most obvious of them all. If someone is envious of you, they try to put you down. They even talk down at you at every opportunity they have. At this point, they even sometimes get physical confrontations. They show you that I don't like what you're doing or I don't like you or I just stopped liking you. They put you down. They talk you down. When you're trying to make a valid point, they talk you down while at it. When you're trying to do something, they put you down. Now in public, instead of them to you know commend you or admire you and say hope you look pretty wow you look good they rather say wow you look very pretty now you used to be ugly like 10 years ago like what did you do now how can someone tell you you're ugly in complimenting you now they see your wedding ring you just got married instead of them to just congratulate you oh, oh congratulations you just got married oh nice they would rather be like, oh, congratulations, you're married. So you finally got someone to put up with all of those bad attitudes of yours. And these things, they are saying it in public. People who don't know you, they just want to, you know, pass a message to people who don't know you. They want to talk you down. They want to make you look small. They want to make you, you know, they just do all sorts. So when you notice this kind of things, this is actually a sign that this person is envious of you or jealous. Now, that is them coming indirectly at you, but some actually comes directly. Sometimes there's a confrontation, sometimes even a physical fight. And then you're asking yourself, what did I do to deserve this? You begin to ask yourself, why well, didn't do nothing wrong to this lady or this guy? This thing shouldn't, you know, make her behave like this, behave like that. Maybe what you, you didn't even do nothing. Maybe you, maybe what you did is not even something that should even get anyone upset, but they confront you at every opportunity they have because they want to make their point. Maybe you just said something innocently that every other normal person would take as a joke, but they flare up, they get upset, they get really mad at you and you're like, what did I do? I didn't even do, I didn't even do nothing wrong. I didn't even say something this upsetting. That's because already there is the envious factor or the jealous factor in there. So now I want to quickly wrap this up by saying being jealous is something very very um crucial to talk about because you know jealousy can actually be a good tool as well yes i can actually defend that maybe in another video now if there is any other sign that i did not remember to put down or i omitted that you would love to share with us please put down in the comment section share with us because we like to learn on this channel we like to know more i would like to know i'm really really interested so if there's something that i have missed that i've skipped that i did not put in this video please help me put it down in the comment section if you want me to talk more on topics like this please smash the like button if i get at least 20 likes on this video i'm going to make another video talking about jealousy you know being a good tool because yes jealousy can actually be a good tool for you if you utilize it well and not in a way to put someone down or to the extent that you begin to carry out all of these five signs i just mentioned in this video so if you like to see that video where i talk more about jealousy being a good tool please put down in the comments below or better still just smash the like button and I'm going to bring another video that is going to be very educative, even more educative than this. So this video isn't to judge anybody or to put anybody down. If it is something that you're struggling with, if it is something you're dealing with and you want to become a better version of yourself, don't worry. This video is not to um, bash you or to put you down. It's to improve us as a person so just get this video to 30 likes and i'm going to come back with another video telling us how to behave and how to overcome these things thank you so much for watching this video and i'm going to see you in my next video bye